Hi everyone, my name is Adogs and thank you all for coming to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over the four decks that made it to the top four at the Bush Road Shop Challenge at uh, Games Corner in Parramatta. So it was uh, capped at 16 players and then we're out of the way, we'll jump into the video. So for the deck that came first, it was a Grade 4 Magnolia deck. Now, uh, Grade 4 Magnolia uh, has now been unrestricted, so you can actually run four inlet pulses with um, Grade 4 Magnolia. You previously couldn't because of the restriction on them. So essentially, Magnolia is back at full power. So you can draw a lot of cards, you can easily build a board. Um, it also has access to an encounter charge now, uh, thanks to this cheeky little uh, sheep. Alpaca, whatever you want to call it. And then you do have the uh, order ride line just to kind of slowly build advantage. And then the orders as well are very solid in this deck too. Um, you can kind of sword blast out your inner pulses of keeping them back. If you ride a Magnolia or a Magnolia, you can probably call another inner pulse out too. Um, yeah, so just overall, just very, very solid. Um, so yeah, uh, congratulations to the person that came first place. For second place, we had a Gravidia deck. Now, you can probably see already that this is definitely different than uh, most Gravidia decks, as most of them are Gravidia World. But this one is actually an almost pure Gravidia uh, deck, uh, with the only exception with the Ride Line being the Common Rusher instead of being the, I think it's the Stana of Baringa. Uh, but uh, the person I spoke to explained to me why, why they ran this ride line. So uh, it all revolves around Peters. So Peters has a skill that when the attack this unit boosted hits, you can choose up to two meter cards from your drop and put them on the bottom of your deck in any order. And if you put two cards, you can tie this unit and draw a card. So the game plan is, well, uh, in the early stages of the game, to get to grade three, is you want to use the world's skill to hopefully get two meteors from I think it's top seven cards. And the idea is then those meteors you're going to be using to discard for your ride line or the grade three. And then when you do that, the Gravidia Peters can put those meteors back if it hits to draw a card. So the reason why this is actually quite solid is that um, the idea is you're taking meteors out of your deck. But you're using them as pretty much a free cost for your grade 2 and grade 3 for your ride line. So then when your Peters hits, um, those minerals you want in your deck, they go back into your deck anyway. So it's actually like a very kind of free engine, so you can kind of keep uh, a lot of better cards in your hand, um, like your regards and stuff, as like, like, you know, to actually use instead of having to discard um, maybe other key pieces that you could have used otherwise for aggression. So, yeah, I definitely like the idea of this uh, ride line, and I also like the idea of the deck. So, for anyone who maybe wanted to try a different variant for Gravidia, um, and maybe you're tired of playing Gravidia World, um, maybe give this maybe give this deck a try. You might end up liking it. So that is the second place deck. So congratulations to the deck that becomes second place. Now for third place, we did have a youth book deck. So youth book deck, uh, sorry, youth book itself is just very solid. Um, you have a lot of filtering, a lot of draw power, your tempest and stuff as well. You have really good um, kind of like uh, end game with gust. Again, as long as you have as a quiet set up, you can have your youth book swing in, then go into gust, and gust can be swing with two drive checks too. So um, it's definitely a very strong pressure tool. And I said, yeah, with the farming of Tempest, you can just farm the cards as well. You have Snizel looking to kind of, uh, kind of help filter for um, your youth book. So like either your Persona Rides or your other um, reroll forms, just so the deck um, just functions. And then with your angels essentially making the cost of your Gus and your uh, Skyfall Arms 3-2 is definitely a nice little plus. It does a lot of plussing, it's just really, really strong. Uh, a lot of filtering and stuff too, so if you're looking to build youth book, um, I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a very, very strong deck. Um, and I can definitely, you can definitely see why it is um, pretty much T1. 
And then lastly, for the deck that came for space was a Kyrie deck. So yes, unfortunately, there was no Ava deck that made it to the top 4. Um, I believe there was an Ava deck that was in top 8, but because it was a top 16, uh, cop, uh, sorry, because it was capped at 16 players, I kind of only wanted to go over the top 4 decks. So um, Kyrie honestly is just still a very strong deck. Um, it can draw a lot of cards, it can do some sort of multi-attacks, it's surprisingly tanky too. Um, as long as you can get to your grade 4 Kali, Kyrie, sorry, I feel like your deck's pretty much solid from there. I think it's just the main thing you have to worry about. But as long as you can get to there, um, the deck, deck's pretty much good. You know, you'll always hit big numbers and um, yeah, you just kind of start snowballing, honestly. So yeah, so that was the top 4 decks that made it uh, in the Bushy Road Shop Challenge at Games Corner Parramatta. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, hit money down there, why not subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so that when I upload another video, you will be notified. And it was out. See ya.